I'm not saying that pure running dogs are uh, not good. I really admire them and also what they can accomplish. But by sacrificing just a tad of speed, top speed that is, you get better acceleration, better stopping power, better agility, better coat, better hunting drive and better fighting ability and more applications that you can use your dog on. So this is, uh, in my opinion, so much benefit for so little sacrifice that I would uh, really be hard pressed to uh, choose a, a pure running dog over a good lurcher. Have a great day. This video is there because I was asked quite a bit why I prefer lurches over pure running dogs. And the argument for the pure running dogs were that they were developed for hundreds of years to do just one, day, one thing and one thing very good, which is running. And I agree that, for example, Greyhound is the fastest dog for its purpose. But even in running, you see different things. For example, if you look at long distance runners, they look a lot different than uh, sprinters. And also the medium distance runners have a different build again. So I will explain what I'm telling you now. And uh, used as a running dog, the fastest running dog that there is, being the Greyhound. First off, you can also have a lurcher if you are crossing two running dogs. I will go into that a little bit, but then go back to the other versions. Because that would not uh, take away the point that I made about pure running dogs because it's still a cross between two running dogs and uh, different breeds used in the other lurcher. So, first off, if you cross a, a Greyhound with a, a Whippet, both of performance lines, for the weight and the size of the dog, you get a faster dog than a pure uh, Greyhound. This is often seen and also these dogs often uh, suffer less injuries could be that those lines are just uh, giving you good heterosis. That's the first point. Then the second point, different breeds. They don't have a running background to create different type of lurches. First off, in the Greyhound, there was some uh, bulldog blood added to make it a better uh, sprinting, accelerating type of dog. You can imagine what I mentioned about those uh, sprinter types of uh, runners that are different to those that are for the longer distance. And of course, the pit bull would be more of a sprinter type of dog. So adding a little bit of that blood gives you the heterosis that I mentioned. But even more extreme because those lines of dogs are uh, far more separated. And also a lot more muscle, which gives it better acceleration. And that's also what you see in lurches. Almost all lurches accelerate harder than those uh, pure uh, running dogs because uh, you add a lot more muscle mass, relative muscle mass, compared to the size of the dog. So that would be one benefit. But it's especially true when you are crossing in a performance type of dog, like an American Pit Bull Terrier, as a bull uh, variety. And also the Bulldogs of those days, when they used them in uh, Greyhounds, were of the type of American Pit Bull Terrier. And not those Bulldogs that you see nowadays, that offer very limited uh, benefits, if all. Sorry to say so, but those are just uh, caricatures of a once very uh, good fighting breed. Okay, then the other thing is that uh, also people that, people that like lurches want them um, to accelerate hard, 
but also be able to stop very fast. So this type of lurcher has a better chance of uh, stopping also on a dime, so to say. So you get a dog that can uh, play, shift directions, easier than a pure uh, greyhound, so it's more agile. Whippets that are smaller also have this uh, property. I'm not telling you this that it works if you uh, breed the grey out to a mastiff type of dog, uh, of course. But also because it makes the dog even bigger and also a lot uh, heavier. But they can accelerate very hard and they, uh, they are also very easy to stop and change directions. So you have a dog that can go uh, fast to top speed and fast uh, uh, braking as well. And often it's also more agile. Another benefit depends on what kind of breed you use, but especially if you use a terrier or a collie type of dog, then you often can improve the feet of the running dog. So if the terrain is rougher or more uh, different, not as flat as here, then you could uh, have an uh, increased chance of injuries which can be often uh, taken care of by introducing other blood. Sometimes the dog becomes lighter, which helps, but also the, the surface of the paw increases, especially with a terrier type of dog. They have very good uh, feet also for digging. And a collie type of blood will also often have to uh, work the sheep in quite uh, difficult uh, terrain. So they have good feet. Also with Kelpies, you see the same. It's like a Australian Collie type of dog. <coughs> so the, that gives you quite some benefits. Uh, just stating on the running type of benefits. Then you still also have other benefits. Because the lurcher can give you a better coat that could protect better against uh, brambles or other things that you encounter. Or better against uh, the weather, because oftentimes these uh, running type of dogs have very thin skin, which helps, of course, uh, get away the heat that the muscles produce, but also are not the best in the bad weather conditions, of course. Especially petted terriers have a very thick skin, and they can also come in, uh, in longer haired varieties. The dog that I have is a short haired uh, petted so it doesn't bring a different uh, coat, although the coat of a petardale is already even short haired variety a lot better than that of a running dog. Spiky! Come here. But also the skin is a lot thicker as you can see. So that gives them some benefits in that department as well. And then a lurch type of dog is often used to hunt, almost always used to hunt. And if hunting is the case, it would be nice that you have a dog that's suitable of uh, taking on the quarry. And if it's just a rabbit, all running dogs normally would do quite well. But if you have uh, a different type of, um, of quarry, for example foxes, then it would be nice that you have more fighting ability. And for example, the American Pimple Terrier, Bulldog Blood, would help tremendously, but also even something as small as a Petadol Terrier, that normally dispatches of uh, foxes that are similar size with ease, even in their, uh, in their burrows. And please remember that uh, although the Greyhound and Whippets once were hunting dogs. Oftentimes they are now being bred that, that long to uh, chase on the track, but are not as the real hunters. So they have a very good sight, they are sight hunters, but sometimes if you add some other blood, they can also get an uh, increased smell. This could be a good thing. But also the hunting drive, for example, for a pure hunting dog, such as for example Petadil Terrier, would help tremendously. 
So not only the fighting ability, but also the hunting drive could be uh, improved. And sometimes also the, the benefits uh, of a dog that is uh, more musculature and not too big would help, for example, in the uh, bushing to drive out uh, the rabbits, for example, from the bushes where the tender skin of a pure greyhound and the size would uh, hamper it. The smaller size, thicker skin, more muscles of a crossfitter, for example, better than a uh, whippet, would uh, help tremendously. And then so you can drive them out, kill them even in the bushes if they are able, and if they are driven out, they can chase them down and get them. But if it's pure rabbits, a pure running dog, or that running dog's uh, type of lurches, eh, for example, the greyhound whippet uh, lurcher, or the greyhound saluki. Saluki often brings uh, better endurance, and sometimes also a little bit better coat. Could be very good, because uh, then you still have some heterosis, so the lines combining and uh, yeah, filling each other's blanks in. But also, uh, the rabbits are not uh, the quarry that is fight back. But if you want to chase something bigger, for example a fox, or a, a hawk, or a deer, then it's nice that you have some increased uh, ability as well. So I hope this, uh, this, this uh, argumentation helps you in uh, understanding why I like lurches so much. I'm not saying that pure running dogs are uh, not good. I really admire them and also what they can accomplish. But by sacrificing just a tad of speed, top speed that is, you get better acceleration, better stopping power, better agility, better coat, better hunting drive, and better fighting ability, and more applications that you can use your dog on. So this is, uh, in my opinion, so much benefit for so little sacrifice that I would uh, really be hard pressed to uh, choose a, a pure running dog over a good lurcher. Have a great day.